Chapter 2, Lesson 2 of Advanced Algebra, looking at graphing or looking at linear functions. And in this video, we're going to do some examples of graphing uh, linear equations using uh, the slope intercept form of the equation. Remember, when we're graphing a line, we only need two points to determine a line. So we can get one of those points from this equation. You remember that this b value is the y intercept, so that's where it crosses the y axis. And then from there, we can use the slope using the rise and the run to give us our second point, much like we did with the point slope form. So B is the y-intercept, and then from B, we can use the slope, the rise over the run, in order to get our second point. Remember that the negative slope, one of the values, either the rise or the run, needs to be negative. So you can either go up and then left, so it would be positive, negative, or you can go down and then right, negative, positive, as long as one of them one of them is negative, then your slope is negative, and then uh, that would be okay. And one other thing, remember, slope negative slopes, the line will go down from left to right. Positive slope, the line will go up from left to right. So let's go ahead and do it a couple of examples here. We're going to graph this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 3. We notice that the y-intercept is 3, so we know that that coordinate is going to be 0, 3. Remember, the x-coordinate of the y-intercept is always 0. So we need to label our axis, give each axis a scale, and then we can go ahead and graph this point 0, 3, which would be about right here, and we're going to have that. Now I notice that the slope is negative, so it's going to go down. So again, this is a ratio, negative 2 over 1, or 1 over 2 over negative 1, excuse me. So we can either go down 2, that's negative, and right 1, that's positive. Or we could go up 2, that's positive, and right 1, that's negative. Either way, that would be fine. And we, but we only have to do one or the other, we don't have to do both. So once we have those, then we can go ahead and graph our line. So make sure the line extends over the entire graph area that we have. And then finally, we're going to write the equation of the line on the line itself so someone who's looking at the graph can tell what the equation was and the line. So this is what your graph should look like. And that covers all the conventions. And so that's how you do it with slope intercept form. So let's go ahead and do another example. I'll bring up another example here. So here we have the y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 12 fifths. Now, don't get distracted by the fractions. We're just going to deal with those. We just need to have an estimate of where this is. So remember, the intercept has a y, an x coordinate of 0. Negative 5 twelfths, you can turn that into a mixed number. So that's a negative 2 and um, a 2 fifths. So it's somewhere between 2 and 3. And really, that's all we need to know. So somewhere between 2 and 3. So we'll label our axis and give them a scale. Then this is 1, 2, and so somewhere between 2 and 3 is negative 2 fifths. So we can put it there. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. I notice that the slope is negative, so it's going to be going down from left to right. So I'll put my label over here so it's out of the way. And now from here, we use our slope, rise of 3, run of negative 5, or we can go uh, run down negative 3 and go right 5, either way. So I'm going to go up 3, so 1, 2, 3 would be somewhere between 0 and 1 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here to the right. So there's my negative slope. Now when you have a fraction and you're doing your rise and your run, you don't need to label this second point, and I don't need you to spend a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what that is. So if it's a fraction, don't worry about labeling that second point, but I do need to, you to label the uh, the original one or the uh, y-intercept. So that gives me my line and goes through there and so uh, then I just need to write the equation on here. So y equals negative 3 fifths x minus 12 fifths and that would be the equation of this line or in the graph. So let me do one more example. So here's our equation y equals negative x plus 3 I'm going to go ahead and label my axis first, get these lined up, and then I notice that my y-intercept is 0, and then this is positive 3, so it intercepts the x-y-axis at 3. My slope here is 1 over 1, and it's negative, so it's going to go down, so I'm going to put my label over here so it's out of the way. 
So again, I can go down one negative and right one positive, which makes the whole thing there. Or I could have gone up one positive and right, left one negative. Either way, I would have gotten on the same line regardless. So once I have that, then I go ahead and use my straight edge, graph my line, and then make sure you label your line here y equals negative x plus 3. And so that's graphing equations using point, uh, no, excuse me, slope intercept form. You get the one point using the slope. No, you get one point doing the intercept and the other point using the slope. And make sure you have all the conventions on there, label the axis, and give them a scale.